Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we continue to just work our way down that list. We now have Julia. Tropical Storm Julia has formed in the Caribbean. You can see by the satellite imagery, still a little bit on that disorganized scale of things. It's been dealing with some stronger wind shear, but as it works its way away from South America, it starts to get some of that real estate across open waters of the Southern Caribbean. We've got warm water. We have lower wind shear by that point in that's going to really give it the ability to intensify over the next couple of days. So here is the current position of this is has the top winds of 40 miles an hour. And we've been talking about this for several days where we have this strong ridge sitting to the north of this system. So the steering currents are really locked in with this and you can really tell that just because it's moving to the west at 18 miles an hour. So moving very quickly onto the west, you're not going to see a whole lot of change in that direction. So it is aiming right towards Central America, right towards Nicaragua. It intensifies as we go through the next couple of days. Maybe the one benefit is the quick motion may not allow it as much time to intensify, but we're still we're looking at a hurricane and this will likely become Hurricane Julia when 75 to 85 miles an hour as it makes landfall. It looks like early on Sunday morning, right around eight o'clock in the morning or thereabouts. And we have the, the strong winds and then we have a lot of rain with this where we're going to see five to 10 inches of rain and we could see some isolated amounts of up to 15 inches and then you see it just works its way right across Central America, so it just continues to spread a lot of flooding rains and one of the really big concerns with this will continue to be is that flash flooding threat across Central America. You can see the computer models really kind of locked in with this idea of basically just working it way right on towards the west and that's simply because we have this strong ridge to the north and it just isn't going to allow it to move that far to the north as we go through the coming days. So you look at the Fox model and we're seeing more and more of that moisture gathering up with this uh, system. Then watch as it makes landfall and then just spreads all those rains over Central America. If it can survive long enough and it takes a track a bit further to the south, there is that remote chance that could actually work its way into the Pacific Ocean, but at least as far as the official forecast track, it keeps it over land, but that's one of the possibilities that we have to kind of watch for as we go through the first part of next week. Of course, we're going to keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.